Tyrone Woodley. The, he really is the chosen one. We chose him to get his ass beat. <laughs> Five-time UFC champ. Bro, y'all gotta this is Jake Paul. Y'all gotta love his confidence, though, bro. He come in every fight talking shit. Five-time UFC champion. Da da da. Explosive. Da da da. Knockout power. That's all cool, but none of that matters Sunday night. And I'm sending him into retirement, turning him into a meme, and people will see, oh my gosh, this kid can fight. He's got skills. He can take a punch. That gas tank is nice. That ends. Oh, uh, is, is it face to face? Yes, sir. I appreciate you, gang, for sure. You know, we working, bro. 65 and 0. Chat, spend that stuff for me one time. 65 and 0. She had on your face kind of alarmed me. You wouldn't be having to take me PEDs, are you? Listen, if you want to build in excuses right now, no, I'm just go asking. ahead. 
it, I was just wondering, I looked at your face, and looked kind of silly, you had some rage, and you acting all unorthodox, you know, those are signs of the PDs. I'm, I'm enraged. I'm not enraged at all. Are you taking PDs? No, sir. Not at all? Okay. No, sir. We're getting drug tested. You, you had a couple of people in your, um, in your camp that you might want to evaluate. Oh, See how are we getting, they are. Aren't we getting drug tested? Yeah. Or are we not? Mm -hmm. People have accused you of that in the past. Yeah, I think they're building excuses. I love it. I look I at it as excuses. a compliment. I beat a lot of people on steroids. So I, don't, I, I take it as a flattering that you feel like you got to take an extra supplement to raise your level to where I'm at. That's what I'm on PD? Oh, yeah. I don't care. You, better, you can be on horse tranquilizer, steroids. You can get a whole new body from Walmart. You're still getting slept. Speaking of accusations, after the Askren fight, a lot of people, including UFC President Dana White, insinuated he took a dive. And now people are saying, oh, is Tyron going to take a dive? Is he he didn't take a dive. He got hit with a fucking punch. Insinuated. I don't believe it. No, but it has got, been said. He got hit. I which can't even really see it. I was behind the upright. But yeah, he got hit with a punch. He didn't take a dive. And no fighter takes dives. That's the silliest thing. Like, maybe back in the 1920s. But what person would say, okay, I'm going to let you hit me with a punch and knock me unconscious for money? I'm not. Well, that's what ever. you're doing. <laughs> Do you think he's you're, you're, So you're saying you're, I'm taking a dive. You're no, paying me to lose. No, I'm saying Sounds that. stupid, you're dude. Listen to the question. Am I taking you're a dive? Get hit with a punch. You're saying, no. And go down to the canvas regardless. Oh, my God. You think he's going to look for a way out? People said that. I'm talking about he's going to quit in the corner. I feel like you make me, like, you bring my IQ down when I sit across from him. Really. He said. I feel like I need to read a book when I leave here. He said he thinks that you're going to quit in the corner. Have you ever quit in the corner before? This dude is a joke. <laughs> well, I, th my reasoning behind that is... Uh, you have no reasoning. You have no experience. You have no career. This okay. is a bucket list that you turn into a career, G. So you Who's just said world? I didn't have a career, then you just said there was a bucket list that I turned into a career. So yeah, what, which one is it? It's the same <laughs> shit. It's the same exact thing, G. Got it. That made, that made same sense. Same thing. That for sure. You did a shits and giggles against another YouTuber. No, uh, shit ain't and, fun. And let me do it again. Oh, best, let's do it again. And your best oh, let's do it again. And then, oops. That don't game. bother me, dude. People losing this fucking sport. You know how many dogs I walked out there where they got slept, cut, knocked out, disabled, legs cracked? Yeah, it's a part of our sport, G. Not our sport. Not if you want part to be the best. Part of our sport. Not if you want part to be the best. Part of our sport. You're not included in that. What, what sport is that? Combat sports. Real sports. Oh, so I'm, so I'm not included in that? I'm going to be included into a highlight reel. Got it, got it. Inspire as V, call you. Let's go big. Make sure y'all download that too. You're you're right. Hey, how's you. the Let's rapping? go big. Me and OT Genesis. We're how's the crazy. rapping going, by the way? Cool, phenomenal. I got a phenomenal project. OT Genesis and I put out a track. Let's go big today. Drop that shit's nuts. Make sure y'all go and download. Forty year old it. rapper. We finna go deal. Forty year old rapper. Yeah, my 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 biological age stops me from having experience of being rich, of being broke, of being the street guy. Of being everything, yeah, I can communicate. I can use artistry to talk. Just sort of. What you're doing is, what are you wearing? It's, it's embarrassing. Like, it's, it's embarrassing. Like you got on five necklaces. You ain't Nipsey Hustle. It's like how many people in your up. neighborhood dress like that? You, you how act many like you're from in your the neighborhood streets. dress like that. You act like you're from the streets. I'm from Ferguson, Missouri, really? the murder capital of the world. Really? Where are you Tyrone from? Tyrone Woodley, the softest Where are you thing from, from Missouri. Uh -huh. Where are you from? Tyrone Woodley, the softest thing from Missouri. How many people in your neighborhood dress like that? Tell you're me. so tough. How many people were bust down Let me ask you a question. Since you're Answer so my gangster. question. Since you're so I'm from Ferguson. I answer. How many people in your neighborhood yeah. dress like you? How many rap videos have you watched? Exactly. How many? Culture. That's what I am. I lived it. Since They're rapping about my lifestyle. You a fucking joke. And you're trying to vouch from it. Since you're and come since Sunday, you know what's going to happen? You're going to get hit with a whole bunch of culture. And your whole jawline going to shit. That long jawline. Probably from PEDs. Since you're so you gangster. Since you're so I don't gangster. have to be gangster. How come you didn't do shit yesterday? I don't have to be gangster. When I don't you have to be gangster. Your mom. I don't have to be gangster. You mm -hmm. should check your dogs on, that, on the same token. Well, is appreciation like, day, but you allow your teammates. Fer Ferguson your sounds like to a pretty gangster mom. place. Miss Paul would never. I'm from Ferguson. Hey, Miss Miss Paul would never hear a word out of my mouth. And my if my cornerman, if my cornerman, my guys, my coaches ever made mention to anything to your mom, I would have checked their ass on the spot. Here's the, here's the thing. That's the difference but between me and you. You keep on you saying you're You keep on you, saying you're like you're diarrhea, dog. You real loose. You, you real loose. You a goofy. You keep on saying you're gonna you do a, all this stuff, but you never. You corny, did. dog. You corny. You a lame. 
Why are you so mad? I'm not. I'm no, just. I'm just. Up. I'm just. I'm just telling you the truth. Nobody back there is selling it to you. Well, they walking around the truth, dancing and shit like a video. You corny dog. The truth is. You a whole corny lame goofball. The truth is. And your nigga won't even tell you. I'm trying to tell you. The truth. I'm is. helping you out. Clear your circle out. Get some rules around you. You see those dudes right over there? You don't even have a team. Let me do something crazy. Watch what you do. They gonna pull me to the side and they gonna check me. Well, you had the opportunity to do something yesterday. And you yeah, didn't I don't have opp- I didn't have to do nothing. Yeah, because I bet you it won't happen again. It'll happen. I bet that. It'll happen. I bet that. It to again. I bet you, that. You wouldn't do shit. I you bet said, that. I'm shake this whole place up. I bet that. I will. Like a little girl. Let it happen again. I bet you I will. You just cried like a little girl. Yeah, you, you can said, stop. Oh, I'm you gonna try. beat you up. We can do the. Uh, we can build the fight. Hey, you, Chad. Hey, this nigga get nervous right here. Hey, he get nervous. Hey, watch him. He get nervous, bro. I ain't gonna lie. He like something might happen on right now, bro. Something might go down. You can talk to shenanigans. You can say whatever. That don't bother me. But when you, you talk about bothered. real shit, we'll see what happens. You seem bothered. Yeah, I'm not bothered by it. I know. I know what I need to know. If you're a rapper, can I hear you freestyle? <laughs> Are you not in the driver's seat, my dog? You can it, do shit. You can go download my song. Get on your phone. Download it. it. Open up your phone right you now. Have, you have. Open up your phone right now. You and have, go to YouTube and look up Go Big and put it on the table. Let's play it. I'd, I'd rather uh, not. Uh, 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 today, Junior. Yeah. But I, if you're a rapper, right, I'd love to hear you freestyle. I know you like this, but you got some more no, questions. No, no. Can you freestyle? Way, that's, that's a Billy Madison. Rapper. That was a good, that was a Billy Madison yeah. reference right today, there. Junior, like yeah, yeah. Um, you have done a lot in terms of bringing... So you can't freestyle for us? I don't freestyle. That's for free. I put my shit on wax. Most rappers freestyle. If yeah. they're actually... Playing grab ass with your no, children. Like, I have a venture capital making fund. Up your, making your pom pom. I have a venture capital fund and, that we have. designing we invest your outfits. Tens of millions of dollars. Designing your outfits. I do business. Last time that came out, Beyonce, the killer bees. This time, I don't know what they're going to do. Look like f***ing pom pom. Let me ask you about fighter pay, because you've done a lot in terms of bringing attention to fighter pay, not only in boxing, but in MMA as well. Uh, on Wednesday, he was asked about this, and you refer to it as the fake Paul Fund, that you don't truly care about this sort of thing, that you're just putting on an act caring about fighter pay. Do you want to respond to that? Yeah, I mean, ask any fighter on the card. This is look. all their biggest payday of their careers Definitely by not y'all. Ask Definitely Amanda not Serrano. Y'all. Ask Charles Conwell. Ask Tyron Woodley. Ask you these know, nuts. Four, four, time, four times as big of a payday as... Chet, what do y'all think, though? What y'all think? Who y'all think winning? Jake Paul or fucking, um, what you call him? Or Tyron Woodley? These nuts. <laughs> Got him. He's ever gotten. So for him to go out and say that, it's, you know. It's a little disrespectful, but I get it, you know. Just coming up with any insult you can as part of the game. Uh, however, I do really care. You know, I want to create a fighter's union, if possible. I've talked to Nikisa about it. You know, it's going to be really difficult to do. But if the fighters can create a union and all band together, we can all increase the pay. These young kids are getting locked up into contracts, boxing promoter contracts, uh, and it's not cool. It seems genuine. You don't believe it? I mean, I'm all about everybody getting a bag. Sure. But at the end of the day, I know what it takes to get it done. And it's no unification. The fighters aren't unified. It's, they, aren't, they aren't coming together. They, they're doing what me and him are doing. Fighting. So how the fuck, you, you think we're going to kumbaya after this? No, I'm going to want to beat your ass again. Ah. So how do we unionize? It's a good effort if it's genuine, but I know what it takes to get it done. We've talked about this. I think it shows how uh, uneducated you are to, or, um, or delusional you are. To go out and say that I don't care about fighter pay when I, I give you the know biggest pay. I don't even care what you care about. All I know is you getting your ass with on well, Sunday. Should, like, why are we talking about that? You should, you should care about what I care about. Why? I'm, I care about fighters keep, keep pay. Your, keep your friends close. Keep your enemies close. I know everything about you. That's fine, man. I, I'm an open book. Fuck. I don't, I don't hide shit. How much do you expect to weigh on Sunday? Shit. I don't know. I ain't thought about that yet. <laughs> this is a bigger weight class than you're used yeah, to. I'm so thankful, man. How much do you expect to weigh on Sunday? Uh, I will be weighing 190 pounds. On Sunday? Yeah. The fight? The weight, the weigh-in. I mean, how much I... How, no, like, how much you expect to gain between weighing... Maybe four pounds. That's it. 194, maybe. Do you think you will have a considerable... You know, some people have said, oh, of course you want to fight Tyron Woodley. He's a welterweight. He's a 170-pounder. You're a 190. You can walk around at 200. 
Is that a fair criticism, or do you think that the weight will actually yeah, be equal? The way I see him, like he got he got a big booty. Like that's part of the reason I wanted to fight him. Oh, He's thick. See, what the f Jake Paul just say? I will be weighing 190 pounds on Sunday. Yeah. The fight. The weight. The weigh-in. I mean, how much? I, how, no, like, how much you expect to gain between weighing? Well, maybe four pounds. That's it. 194, maybe. Do you think you will have a considerable? You know, some people have said, oh, of course. You want to fight Tyron Woodley? He's a welterweight. He's a 170 pounder. You're a 190. You can walk around at 200. Is that a fair criticism, or do you think that the weight will actually yeah, be equal? The way I see him, like he got he got a big booty. Like, He's a 170 pounder. You're a 190. You can walk around at 200. Is that a fair criticism, or do you think that the weight will actually yeah, be equal? The way I see him, like he got he got a big booty. Like that's part of the reason I wanted to fight him. Oh, he's Thick, like he's super thick. Oh, I wanted to grip them cheeks, low key, when I first saw. Oh, uh, see. So see, he he definitely <laughs> walks around at. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? What? I, and that makes a lot of sense. You know what's funny, bro? Like a damn airplane. You, you want to know what's funny is that this is a face to face, but I asked them if we could do a butt to butt, but they didn't. Chat, I'm about to get off this shit, gang. I ain't gonna lie, chat. That nigga being hella. He, 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 he doing that little Nas X shit, man. Let that happen. That's funny. Do you think there'll be a size advantage on, uh, no, he's on Sunday? He's taller, but I think he's about the same weight. Okay. How do you feel about the height? I feel, I mean, I fought a lot advantage. of tall guys. Nobody's ever been my height besides, like, Koshek and one or two other guys. Everybody's been taller, so. I mean, I don't feel like, I feel like stat-wise, this fight pretty even. You know, there's not a lot of footage on you, Jake, because your fights end relatively quickly. There's a lot of footage on him, but in MMA. Did you even watch his MMA fights in preparation for this? Is there any point of that? The Glizzy Lou? I watched a couple minutes of it. I, I oh, made yeah, my coaches do that and depict, you know, how he fights. I saw a couple things, you know, I, especially in his, you know, Gilbert Burns fight, uh, how how he went up against Kamaru, but you know, there's not much there. there. There's really not. It's it's sort of the same. Shit. It's like run away, go up against the fence, try to push off the fence with the right hand, come over the top with the overhand right, and then follow it with the hook. Put your head down, swing for the fences. It's a he's a basic novice striker. So when you watch him, that nigga Jake Paul be talking shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie, he one of the most shit talking people I done ever fucking met, bro. Like in an MMA fight, is there anything that impresses you? That's not, not one thing. How about his striking? Uh, when you, <laughs> you see him in there, he watched a couple of minutes, but he just gave you a whole analysis. <laughs> well, that, you you work the you know that that's not two minutes worth of shit. Well, that, that's all it takes, right? If you would watch a fighter for three minutes, could you break him down or no? I'm a, I'm an expert, my G. Of course I can. Okay. I'm the one of the best guys behind the desk. Well then, great. You're a self-proclaimed right. expert. So when I beat I'm you, not, that's what I'm calling. I'm an analyst. I'm an expert analyst. That's well, you what just, we do. Or you just called yourself. And an I basically just told me, me you that I know expert. as an expert that it takes more than two or three minutes to do say what you said. Okay, so by him, yeah, he got a good right hand. Right hand. Good right hand. Count that money. That money. Yeah, I'm just called trying the numbers for 45, that. donated five dollars. Look like he's blue. Would you meet my friend Tyrone? Um, I don't think Jadion would like that. He 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 said fuck Tyrone. Set it up, set up his right hand with a jab. 
uh, earlier today I spoke to his head trainer, BJ Flores, and he said that he thinks as the fight goes on longer, it's actually worse for you. I think conventional wisdom would be you've gone 25 minutes, so you'd be more comfortable, but he thinks you're going to get really tired very early, first round. Pack a lunch, my dog. Pack a lunch. I'm not going to get tired. I'm, I'm going to be punching with the same power first if we make it to the eight. So, how do you condition it? How? Hey, fuck Tyrone. <laughs> Yo, we got to watch this. Uh, Cardio conditioning is not going to be an effect. Uh, we're trying to throw power every fucking round. Every opportunity we see to do damage, we're going to do that. And um, it's not its not my first big fight. It's not the jitters like, oh, my God, it's a big fight. No, I've been in a lot of big fights. When was the last time I was not in a big fight? You know what I mean? So for me, I'm just going to go out there and do what I need to do. Sorry about that. Hey, yes, man. I, no, I... Uh... Yeah, I was just wondering, like, what are you going to do to fix your fatigue issues? You know, especially since you're going to be coming in with well, I didn't weight. take steroids like you did, so, I mean, I just, I guess, run, it, maybe? You're, you're accusing you? me of something that we get drug tested for. Yeah. Do, do, do you realize how dumb you sound? You realize how dumb you sound like? <laughs> but I tell you what, maybe. I live at, and it's documented. You can look up the stats and see. That still sounds dumb. I don't speak that language. So you agree with the of assessment, course. though, if this fight goes longer, it actually benefits you and not him? Yeah. I mean, How has, many times have you went 25 minutes? He has uh, fatigue issues. How many times have you went 25 minutes? Dozens and dozens fight. and dozens in and dozens. Fight. Dozens of times in, in a gym. fight. Dozens of times. Not with the guys that are shadow boxing so you can feel good. With Let people you who oh, are better than you. You grab a dude from Starbucks and throw a head girl. People who are you know, better than you. Fell down and you put on video. I, I love doing these face-to-faces because you can see. How many times have you done face-to-faces? This is my fifth, so I love doing these. You only had three fights, but you had five face-to-faces? No, I've had oh, four indeed. fights, and this is my fifth. You have four fights? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, maybe I'll study that. My fight. bad, my bad. Shit, let me give you a credit. But I love doing One these because it shows like how much un he's underestimating me. And this fight just became that much more easy from a mental standpoint because it's like I know he didn't prepare the proper way. Right. If you think this is going to be... I've I've had 30 street fights. Let's <laughs> know for, hey, for regular fights. Hey, Ferguson. For, yeah, for, for, in Ferguson. Ha. Ferguson. For regular fights. Man, you, man, you hard as hell. Man, you're a gangster. You're, you're hard as hell. No, you're a gangster, you're bro. I, I've always wanted to meet a real gangster. <laughs> what an honor. This dude's hilarious. <laughs> Thank you. You got West Side on your shirt. You, you at home? You know, I still want to hear a freestyle. Some, let me see you throw the west side up. I see, still, I see still want to hear a freestyle. Let me see your shirt throw the west side up. Can we do a freestyle? You from the west side of Cleveland? We all just want a little freestyle. They don't freestyle. even like you in your own city. We want to hear a little freestyle. Dude, silly, silly. So, as we get closer to the fight, and as... Yeah, we're close. We're pretty close. I mean, we didn't even need to do this. We two days away. Shit. Well, I think people like to see the interaction. They like to see this goofy stuff, and I ain't a goofy. I feel like he's reducing me down to his level to even be having these childish conversations. Yeah. Let's play spades or some shit. Well, I, I'm just wondering in your <laughs> opinion, you know, I, I mentioned this to you on Monday. <laughs> One could say there's a lot of pressure on you, right? None. None. I'm just training to fight. No pressure. The only pressure I have is the pressure to perform. You're representing the sport. Well. I'm representing myself. Girthy nugget. Appreciate you for the host with one viewer, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's a fing dub. W viewers, two of them. And my family and my coaches that put in blood, sweat, and tears. That's what I'm representing. I don't take on the extra pressure. He got the pressure. Why? Because he's fighting a fucking legend. He's gonna see what it is on Sunday. He got the pressure. Not me. He the one that wanted, thought it was cute to fight in his hometown. How many people asked you for tickets and all that, da, da, and long lost cousins, and everybody hit them up? I'm relaxing. I told everybody from the beginning, I'm telling you no, so you know. I told everybody no. I made it clear. Distractions out, because I've been there. I've been the, the young fighter that did all the videos, did all the interviews, did all the shit that looked cool, had all the, all the smiles. I did all that shit. But I went out there and I fucking didn't perform the way I wanted to. So now, phones are free. Take my phone. The phone's getting grabbed today. I won't have them. And it's just locking the zone out. Is there more pressure on you? Hometown? Legend, fourth <laughs> pro fight, no pressure. I, no I was, pressure. I was both. You've talked players. a lot. You've, ta you've, caught, you've picked the fight, right? Yeah. Not only with him, but with an entire sport. Sam Cav, seven seven seven. He's hosting a view. He's hosting with one viewer, bro. Two viewers, bro. Let's go. <laughs> Ws.
yeah, with the president this. of the biggest organization. And then, so there's a lot of people who are rooting for you to fail, right? In addition to people who are rooting for you to succeed, there's no doubt about that. You don't feel any of that pressure? Nope, this is another sparring session. You know, I, I, if I would have felt that pressure, I would have felt it the last fight. I would have felt it in my first fight when there was 30,000 people in Manchester Arena you screaming out, fuck Jake Paul. In my first fight, I had no idea what I was doing. Fight. Hot top on the score too, hosting my stream with one viewer, bro. W host, bro, no cap. I didn't feel it then, Why, what's there to feel now? And by the way, when I go up against guys in the gym who are way tougher w than this, party, no uh, cap. whatever you'd call them, this legend, and beat them, that gives me the confidence. Zepeda underscore 13 is hosting my stream with one viewer, bro. Fuck dubs. This is another sparring session. And by the way, when I spar in the gym, I have to go eight, 10 rounds, like my coach tells me. In this fight, it can be over in one <laughs> round and I can go home and go to the after party. <laughs> voice Mod is the number one real-time voice changer for gamers and content creators. I know I'm gonna win, so why, why would I have much? Why are you bringing the, uh, the world-famous tattoo artist, tattoo With the baby? motherfucking view of one viewer, nigga, appreciate it, appreciate it. To this fight. We made it back. Well, all y'all some W hoes, 38. <laughs> 38, bro. All y'all some W fucking hoes, bro. I think it's been like 780 y'all, bro. And we all, bro, that's like one view. That's like eight viewers, bro. No cap, bro. That's some legendary shit right there. W hoes, bro. He loses. I appreciate I'm all the fucking ratings, little. bro. All the hoes, bro. ADAP, phase ADAP. Phase ADAP. Yeah, you already know what it is. Please for the subscription phase, ADAP. Sending her into his locker room to get the tattoo that says, I love Jake Paul. Big Lizzy Lou. One. Cardi 9. I'm not Cardi afraid nine. to nobody that this dude Cardi ever nine. in life touch me. Two, I'm not losing. So he brought the person that he trusts and has done artwork for him to give him a tattoo. Big Lizzy Lou. Will you go through for with sure. that? No, like whatever he wants to think. Will you go through with that? What? Of course he'll go through with it. If it doesn't, it, it does not, it's not possible for me to lose. He's a troll. Of course he's gonna go through with it. You know Some mean? things this in life just of, aren't possible. It's a part of his life. Couple, he's couple, couple, this couple. What they do. Like, what are you gonna just? It's, it's a story. It's a you it's have, a story. You're saying all this, and then it don't have to be to me. All all Check this, my heart rate. It's probably 33, all of this, 37. All of this footage is gonna be used against you to be like, oh, hey, nothing. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, my man. That's biblical. Go jump that. Wow, Jesus, nice. Well, can I ask you, as we're rounding third here, guys, and I appreciate the time, you said you've watched a little bit of his fights. You know who he is, of course. I know you're an MMA fan. His last few fights, what do you see when you see Tyron Woodley out there? See, uh, someone who got his soul snatched and who is clawing to survive. And I see someone who, without me, would have been a broke 40-year-old rapper on a couch with his mama. Oh, with with no, let's go big. With, with TJ and the Star Wars with no video with out today. Nothing going on for him. Someone snatched his soul in one of his fights. Uh, he hasn't been able to get it back. Uh, I was supposed to reply to that. Well, you, well, know, you want me to just, just re 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 team me? Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> this is just, you know, I'm, I'm just being real. It is a four fight losing streak. And yeah. people have said you were stuck in neutral. And people have said, Where's the tyrant who blasted Koscheck? Where's the tyrant who beat up Darren Till in Dallas? Where's the tyrant who did this and that? Jack. Is that tyrant gonna show up? All those tyrants are dead. Those tyrants that knocked out Robbie in record breaking time. The tyrant that stomped Darren Till. didn't knock out Robbie. Yep. Jack, I got a question. Y'all think that nigga Jake on um, pills and shit? Um, what you call me? I said, I seen some in the chat talking about he got a fucking pimples and shit. I mean, that could have been you in the sun too much. Y'all think he fucking, he got stereo on steroid chat? I don't think the so. Lou. And Narky J. It was a it was a knockdown and then it was a TKO. You don't actually have knockout power. Well, you go look back at him, especially at one ninety. Single legging the referee, you are changing. Especially at one ninety. <laughs> so at the end of the day. Um, let the grown people talk. Right I'm now. just really wondering so, how that lactic buildup is going to be at I'm a saying, bigger weight. Let's do. Did you just get into lactic buildup? And this is your show, right? You really want a lactic buildup. All right. I'm going to take some free radicals, motherfucker. That's what I'm going to do, I guess. So any, anyway, um, the Tyron Woodley that beat Darren Till didn't get punched. Also, the Tyron Woodley that had these events and these fights that people were just like, what's going on? All those people there had to, re, had to have a rebirth and the passion and the love 
especially boxing is. Hey, when is CEO is at 35? What did they say? Put it in the chat. I'm not gonna say it, but I put it in the chat. What did they say at 35 minutes? What I've always wanted to do. So me getting a chance to do that and train it and having solid people behind me and really having the focus to lock in, it's another animal that nobody's seen yet. And Sunday everybody's gonna How see. How come Floyd it. disappeared after training with you? Floyd has not disappeared. Gee, I don't tell everything like you do. All you do is you make your whole little thing a sizzle reel, <laughs> your day to day. Like I do way more than I show on the internet. I just let people see what I want them to see. That's super dope. How's that working out for you? Great. Getting ten thousand Instagram yeah. likes. Great. Before I signed a fight with you. Great. That's dope. That sounds great. You're on fire. 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 Whew. Blazing. Tyrone uh, Woodley. Tell your people to download my song. So she, she's so helpful. Well, you're helping out the MMA community. I, I, you're helping out me. You're paying me a payday. I, I, yeah. Get on the camera say, everybody, download Let's Go Big. I got Tyron you. Tyron Willie OTJ. Everybody, go right now. Download Tyron's song if you want your ears to bleed. There we go. <laughs> At least give him the name. Bro. Does it bother you? He's not pronouncing your name the right way. Nah, no, I, don't, I don't. Nobody does. Well, but I know you should, you're Yeah, I mean, if, if you wanted me to pronounce it the right way, you should have spelled it the right way. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> you don't find that disrespectful. Uh, uh, I remember when this was first kind of being bandied about, uh, there was some talk, boxing and then MMA, right? Do it once in boxing, once in MMA, like a two-fight series. Would you ever consider that? Nope. <laughs> Why? I'm not an MMA fighter. Are you a boxer? 100%. All right. And if things go well for you on Sundays? When they go well for me, I would do it again in boxing. Like, I, I don't even want to fight him in MMA. I'd rather do the boxing thing. You'll do a, a rematch? Yeah, I will, for sure. But this is the beginning of your boxing oh, no, I don't career. Think he, I don't think he's going to want a rematch. I think he's, I think he's going to feel punches coming in angles he never felt before. I think he's going to feel pain the next morning that is going to make him reconsider all this bullshit. So I don't think he's going to want the rematch. But he put it in there, so I honor it. Did you put it in there? Oh, me, I didn't. I think my team or lawyers did. Yeah, you gonna see her lie? You didn't put that in there? How is that? Oh, let's do lying. If my manager say, okay, I'm gonna add a rematch clause of your own shit. No, I'm the boss. Nobody fucking tell you what you're gonna add to the contract. Mm. <clears throat> you being the boss hasn't really worked out for you, so maybe you should listen to your manager some more. Okay, my man. I made more in one fight than you have in your whole career. How does that feel? All right, my man. I'm not more motherfuckers you, out. Does that bother you, you, big bicep guy? I've knocked more people out of my life than your age. you, big bicep guy? How old is he? Twenty-four. Does that bother you, big bicep guy? Uh oh, Chad, they talking shit now. Hey, you heard that, Chad? They talking shit now. People unconscious than your age. How about wow. that? Wow. And that's facts. So tough and gangster. I don't have to be tough. Wow, and you're so tough. You got a gun. I don't, you got have, a knife. I don't have to be tough. What are you gonna do? I don't have to be tough and gangster. Well, you try to be. I got people to do that for me. They didn't do anything yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Official prediction. You've been asked it, but now that you're sitting in I mean, front of I always got to do a prediction. I'm Sean 12, bro. Appreciate for the one viewer, bro, on the host, bro. You a legend, bro. W. Because of course, I'm going to try to no, hurt But how? But how? I'm going to try to hurt him. I just, I just think that he's just going to get hit with some shit and be like, damn. Oh, shit. My coach didn't tell me it was going to feel like that. Are you I expecting a longer fight? No, I don't even care, to be honest. Uh, I'm prepared for an eight-round fight. Um, I'm not going to try to make it last and let it stretch out. If I see a chance to get it done, I'm going to get it done. And uh, I'm just patient, poised, and I, I feel like at the end of the day, I got the experience in putting people away. You know what I mean? Clipping people with shots and having the one hits, and that's cool. I've had those too. But I've had to actually find a way and set it up and create it. And somebody that didn't want to go away, somebody that's been knocked down and got back up, I had to find a way. You remember the Andre Gunvar fight? I had to find a way to knock people out that was not trying to be knocked out. Koshek had JP to underscore 12 by 1, bro. Appreciate you for saying W stream, bro. That shit really matter to me. When y'all say W stream and shit like that, bro, it makes me feel like I'm doing something good, chat. Oh, my mama. I appreciate y'all, bro, so much, bro, for every day, bro. 65 days. We got 300 more, chat. Let's go. Do it twice. I hit him in the first time, kind of clipped the back head, he fell down, boom, mental note, took a step back, half the distance, the cleanest shot we've ever seen. Whole face lit up. Nobody had ever knocked him out unconscious, right? Nobody. He had been TKO, but nobody put him to sleep. So, yeah, I I'm good at that. My IQ is very high. I see very well in there. And um, I think with gloves now, though. Shit, that's, I'm, I'm smart. Shit to say, you get